Hello everyone, good morning and good afternoon and welcome to the Turtle Friendly Lighting webcast. I'm Matthew Salee, uh, the Director of Business Development and uh, Strategic Marketing here at Cielo. And I'm looking forward to sharing with you our latest product line that is a line of LED upgrades for uh, coastal areas and turtle environments. Additionally, um, as we go through the day today, I think it's going to take about 20 minutes, um, including question and the answer. Um, if you do have questions, please type them into the questions box you see in the, in the broadcast. Um, you can type those in at any time and we'll, uh, we'll address questions at the end. Um, and uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So about Cielo, um, as many of you know, Cielo, we build solutions at the nexus of power, light, and data, and we create new possibilities for smart and sustainable buildings. Today we'll be focusing more on the uh, sustainable side of things as these turtle upgrades provide a sustainable path for, for buildings in, uh, in animal protection. Uh, we do upgrade existing systems, including those step lights, um, and we help to drive uh, more efficiency and more energy savings in the spaces uh, that, that you serve. We were founded in Boulder, Colorado, and we've been designing and manufacturing building intelligence and LED since 2003. So let's start with uh, some turtle facts. So a couple of turtle facts. Uh, there are six species of sea turtles found in the USA, and all six of those are either in a threatened or a endangered status. Conservation efforts uh, for these six species span habitat re rehabilitation programs, uh, improved fishing practices, debris and beach cleanup, um, as well as uh, new boat lanes and boat avoidance uh, techniques to, uh, to protect these little guys. Uh, light pollution has been shown as disrupting nesting and migration behaviors, often with profound effects. And light pollution uh, comes in two forms. One of those is uh, light intensity, as well as the wavelength of the color of that light. Um, so mitigating uh, both intensity and wavelength can help uh, mitigate the effects of light pollution on, uh, on sea turtles. So a little bit more on light pollution. Uh, $7 billion is estimated to be spent annually on energy for unused outdoor lighting. And here is a map showing nighttime light pollution of the, uh, of the U.S., as you can see, there's a lot of light pollution there in the, uh, in the coastal areas, certainly around the uh, lower Atlantic, uh, southern Atlantic area, Florida and the Gulf, as well as Southern California. And it's also estimated that 99% of the U.S. population lives under an overlit sky. So if you look up in the middle of the night and you don't see the stars or you very faintly see the stars, you are likely living in a uh, light pollution zone. So if we compare that to turtle habitats, uh, the Duke University has created this interactive map called C-Map, and uh, it here is shown the nesting sites of different species of female turtles, and these are typically found along those same very populated illuminated beaches. So you can see here the, um, the sort of overlay of, you know, light skies and, and turtle nesting, um, they're, they're one and the same. So if you're interested in learning more about um, sky glow and, and light pollution, um, the DOE is actually hosting two events, one on Thursday tomorrow and one next Thursday. Uh, one of them is on the impact of street lighting on sky glow. Uh, and the, the other one is a bit, uh, a bit more technical, and we'll go down into the, into the nitty-gritty details on that. Um, both of these are put on by the DOE and uh, Pacific Northwest National Laboratories, and they're so relevant and so current, um, I felt like I should mention it today. Um, you can register at this uh, URL listed here, or you can just type DOE webinar on SkyGlow into Google, and it'll pop right up. 
So back to our turtle friends. Um, this chart uh, shows the either attraction, indifference, or aversion to specific spectrums of light of the different uh, breeds of turtles. And uh, loggerhead, the, the circles there, is the, uh, is the most impacted by either attraction or aversion in, on the wavelength of light. And as you can see, there's a big canyon of uh, moving from attraction down to aversion in that 600 nanometer range, right in that yellow zone and the sort of amber zone. And so this particular research um, indicates that this wavelength of light can help mitigate the effects of uh, onshore lighting. And this narrow band spectrum of light can dramatically improve the sea finding behavior of these turtles. So what happens is when you have these, um, when you have this color of light, the sea turtles basically ignore it and they, they head in the right direction out towards the ocean. So what we've done is we've created a product family uh, that is centered around this uh, wavelength of light in this um, you know, 590 nanometer range. We're using Osram Duris LEDs that uh, are between 583 and 595 nanometers. And this very narrow spectrum of light uh, does two things. It provides enough visible light for humans to be able to you know, use the spaces effectively uh, while lowering the impact on sea turtles and allowing them to um, display their sea finding behavior. So let's talk a little bit about the lighting design considerations. Um, shown on the right here is what is considered to be poor lighting design in a coastal area. You have a very cool light uh, splashing out into the, onto the beach and into the ocean, both from a residence and a parking lot area. A better version of this lighting design looks like this, and this uh, eliminates light from falling onto the beach and the and the ocean and so this is this is considered better for sea turtle uh, sea finding finally the best way to do this is as shown here um, is to eliminate all light from hitting the uh, hitting the beach and eliminate that glare as much as possible and also changing the wavelength of that light uh, to be more invisible to the turtles, so they're not not distracted by it whatsoever. So here's a couple of examples, and this is put together by the uh, FWC, uh, the Florida Wildlife Commission. Uh, on the left-hand side, you can see great lighting design. Here you have shielded fixtures, and you have appropriate color temperature lights on the uh, exterior of this building, as well as on the pathways and walkways. And you can see the beach is very dark. And you can also uh, notice that the moon is very prevalent in the sky. And the moon is, uh, is what facilitates the sea finding behavior for these baby turtles. So they, they chase that out into the ocean. And, and so in this example of lighting design, you can see how how dominating the moon is on the uh, on the visual effect of the turtle. On the right hand side, um, you see overly bright and unshielded lights. These are just washing over the beach. You can see the beach uh, clearly illuminated as well as the ocean. And these, uh, from a turtle's perspective, look like the moon. And this causes the turtles to run to shore rather than run to the ocean. So we've developed uh, an extension of our compact linear product line to address these uh, fixture types and address this situation for the turtles. So we have a four inch version, a six inch version, and an eight inch version. The four inch version fits five inch and larger step lights and wall lights. It's a five watt product and it wires directly to line voltage using 120 or 277 input. And it will replace one 13 watt CFL or one 60 watt screw in light bulb. Um, so a pretty standard retrofit and a pretty standard size. 
The six inch version will fit slightly larger and longer step lights, typically seven inches and above. It's a seven watt unit, and this particular uh, unit will replace one by 18 watt CFL or one by 100 watt uh, screw in light. And then the eight inch, the largest one of the three, uh, fits nine inch and larger step and pathway lights. Uh, it, it consumes 10 watts of energy and it will replace a single 26 watt or a single 32 watt CFL or a even a low wattage HID, like a 70 watt HID. And you can see the fixture shape is a bit different here. Often these end up being area lights versus step light uh, style fixtures. Uh, but we've got a solution for um, these three sizes, which represents the majority of the market. So a couple more features of the turtle friendly lights that I just showed you. Um, number one, these are turtle friendly. That's a good thing. They are uh, FWC approved or Florida Fish and Wildlife approved, and they are they can be found on the FWC list. They feature the 590 nanometer amber LED source. They're IP65 protected, so they can be installed outside in step lights or pathway lights. And so they're protected against water, salt, sand, and dust. And the three sizes fit a variety of fixture shapes, the four inch, the six inch, and the eight inch. These also feature very fast installation. And these kits install into existing fixtures in minutes. Um, they're as simple to uh, install as a bulb and a ballast change. You simply remove the old electrical hardware and these uh, replace right, it, right where it was. And they feature a three-wire installation right to line voltage. Uh, and that's a universal input driver, 120 to 277 input. They feature multiple mounting options, so they can be set to um, illuminate outwards or downwards, uh, depending on the fixture shape and the louver uh, style. And they're approved and uh, safe for use in very small and sealed fixtures. There's, there's no issue um, for us to install those in very small fixtures, and that's because uh, they have internal thermal, a thermal protection circuit that will um, if these get too warm uh, in the installation, say they get the lights get turned on during a very hot day, um, if they go above about 85 Celsius or about the temperature of a cup of coffee, they will, um, they will dim themselves down to protect their own internal circuitry. And then when it cools off again and the sun goes down, um, they'll brighten right back up. So we have very good quality and reliability on these, on these products and all of our products. These particular products feature a five-year warranty, and that's for any fixture, any runtime, provided that fixture is not submerged. They're Telcordia engineered for reliability, and Telcordia is, a, is an engineering method that uh, provides uh, engineering processes and predictions for high reliability. And we also include internal protection against shock, surge, and strike. So all of this gives us field reliability greater than 99.8%, which is really something considering these fixtures tend to take a lot of abuse. These are also a safe upgrade. They are UL 1598C certified for field installation into existing fixtures, including the step lights and wall packs and wall wash that I described. They include an installation kit. Uh, which has wire nuts, self-drilling drilling screws, mounting feet, and a lens cloth to clean up that, that fixture as, as soon as you install it. They're also a UL recognized component for installation into OEM uh, fixtures and luminaires. So let's talk about a few of the application areas for the turtle friendly lights. These are some of the typical coastal building types that we've seen uh, these lights installed into. Hotel and hospitality, uh, these include you know, resort areas and pool areas, outdoor dining, as well as beachfront access pathways, uh, things of that nature. Multifamily and se senior living facilities, 
including retirement communities and condo high rises. Uh, where you've got beachfront access or walkway pathway access, there tends to be a number of step lights there. Retail and restaurant are quite popular along boardwalk areas and beachfronts. Um, and these are these make great patio lights uh, for, for pathway illumination and, and low level um, ambiance for, uh, for dining. Education and universities, there's, you know, some research facilities out on the on the coasts and these make great, great lights for the exterior of those buildings and those spaces. As well as municipalities and office buildings, often these have waterfront access or are located close enough to waterfront that you need to be worried about the ex exterior lights. These are great, uh, great upgrades for those facilities as well. Oh, a few of the typical fixture types. Um, most most commonly, we believe these will be installed in step lights and stair lights, uh, like you see here. And these come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but they're usually relatively small, and they're one or two lamps. Um, and you know, they're either surface mount or recessed mount, as you can see here. And the the product line that I've described to you will fit in any of these fixtures that I've that I've shown you. We've also seen these products installed into path and area lighting that is basically a brighter version of, of step lighting. Um, so here you can see a, an upgrade that was performed in a slightly different fixture type, um, although these products will fit a variety of shapes and sizes in the exterior space. So moving forward, uh, we, have, uh, we have samples available now. Uh, of these products, and we would be happy to, um, you know, facilitate sampling of these of these products for you and your clients. Uh, if you need a sample, please visit us on our website at cielo.com/turtle, and you'll see a little button uh, right on the right hand side that says "Request Sample." Just fill out the couple of fields there of information, and we'd be happy to get a sample over to you. Pricing is quite simple. Uh, we have a national network of agents uh, that can uh, that we can uh, chat with you about on getting pricing over to you. Additionally, our product specifications are uploaded and available now on our on our website. And the URL for the website is simply cielo.com/turtle. And you're welcome to email us as well at orders at cielo.com. Or if you'd rather talk to a person, go ahead and give us a call. So with that being said, um, I'd like to open the floor up for questions. Um, so if you've got any questions out there, please, uh, please type those into the questions box and we'll, we'll address those now. So I have one question is how do you install the um, product into a step light? So the way the product installs into a step light is you would take the cover off of the step light. Um, you would take out the lamp holder and the lamp and the ballast if there is one. Typically those are held down with a little metal clip or a single screw. And you would just remove that from the inside of the fixture. The product just slides right inside. Um, and there's a couple of mounting feet that attach it and a couple of self-tapping screws. So you attach it on right on the inside of the fixture. And then you simply put the uh, step light cover right back on just like it was before. And, uh, and you're good to go. Um, three wires and, a, and wire nuts. Uh, and that's it. Very straightforward. Um, another question here, is there a CRI rating uh, for this color light? Uh, I'll have to check on that. I don't believe there's a CRI rating um, because it is a very specific wavelength. Um, it's, a, it's a pure light uh, and not a full spectrum or attenuated spectrum light. It is a, it is a single um, band of wavelength. I'll, I'll check and make sure on that, but I'm, I'm quite certain that there's not a CRI. Great question. Any other questions? Okay, well, if there's no other questions, um, 
let's uh, let's go ahead and conclude. Um, thanks everybody for the uh, for the time today. I very much appreciate it. Again, please do visit us at uh, cielo.com/turtle if you have uh, if you have any questions or you'd like to request a, a sample of this particular product. We'd be happy to uh, happy to help you out. Thanks very much for the time and have a great rest of the day.